Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the concept of graph coloring problem using backtracking technique. Already, we have discussed two examples to implement graph coloring problem. In this session, we will discuss what is chromatic number in graph coloring problem. And here for this given graph, there are five vertices. What is the chromatic number for this given graph? So here, chromatic number is nothing but what is the minimum number of colors required to color this given graph? And the constraint here is the adjacent vertices should not be assigned with the same color. That is the main constraint in graph coloring problem. So here, for example, if I am assigning color number 1 to A in the sense, same color I can able to assign to B also because B is not adjacent to A. No way A and B is connected. So the same color I can assign here, color number 1. Similarly, C if you are considering in the sense, no way A, B and C is connected. The same color I can assign here also. Similarly, for D also I can assign because A, B, C and D are not adjacent vertices. They are individual vertices. All these vertices are connected to E only. Okay. But A, B, C and D are not connected directly. Okay. Next step. For vertex E, can I give color number 1? No, that is not possible because if you are giving color number 1 here in the sense, E is adjacent to A, E is adjacent to B, E is adjacent to C and E is adjacent to D also. So, the same color we cannot able to assign to E. Okay, you have to give a different color to E. For example, color number 2 for E. Okay, now all the vertices in the given graph is colored. So, here the minimum number of colors required to color this given graph is 2. So, the chromatic number is 2. And here if you are considering in the sense, for A, B, C and D, I have assigned green in the sense. For E, I can able to assign red. Suppose if they have given only two colors in the sense, A, B, C and D, we can assign green and E vertex, we can assign red. One more possibility is, a, B, C and D we can assign red. E you can assign green. That is one more possibility. So, with the two colors, this is the possible solution. Okay. Next up. For this given graph, what is the chromatic number? Okay. So, chromatic number is nothing but what is the minimum number of colors required to color this given graph such that adjacent vertices should not be assigned with the same color. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, if I am assigning color number 1 to A in the sense, the same color we should not assign to D and E. Okay. But the color number 1 we can able to assign to B also. That is possible. Okay. The same color you can able to assign to B also. Because A and B are not adjacent vertices. Okay. But A and D is adjacent. A and D should not be assigned with the same color. Similarly here, B and C should not be assigned with same color because these two are adjacent. And E, if you are considering in the sense, you should not assign any of these colors assigning to A, B, C and D because all four vertices are adjacent to E. Okay. So here, A and B, you can assign same color. And D, if you are considering, you need to give a different color only. But here, if you are considering C and D, this is not adjacent. So, you can give the second color here also. Okay. Only these two are adjacent. These two are adjacent. So, A and B assign color number 1. D and C assign color number 2. Okay. And what is E if you are considering in the sense? Can you assign color number 1? No. That is not possible because color number 1 is already adjacent to its adjacent vertices A and B. Okay. Can you assign color number 2 to E? No, that is not possible because the adjacent vertices D and C is assigned with color number 2. So, you require one more new color. Okay. So, color number 3 will be assigned to E. Okay. So, the minimum number of colors required to color this given graph is nothing but 3 colors is required. For example, if you are considering 3 colors are red, green and blue in the sense. The solution is you can assign A and B with the green color, D and C with blue color, E with red color. One more possibility is A and B is blue, D and C is green and E with red color. This is second solution. 
Next possibility is A and B with blue, E with green, D, C with red. Next possibility is A, B with red, D, C with blue and E with green. Next possibility is A, B with red, E with blue, D, C with green. And next possibility is A, B with green, E with blue, D, C with red. Okay. So, these are all the possible solutions for this given graph. You can construct the state space tree to identify these solutions. Okay. How to construct the state space tree? Already we have discussed with two examples. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Next, consider for this example graph, what is the chromatic number? So, chromatic number is minimum number of colors required to color this given graph such that no two adjacent vertices are of same color. Okay. So, now consider vertex A. A if you are assigning color number 1. Okay, A is adjacent to E, D, F and B. Okay, all these four vertices you cannot be able to assign color number 1. But you can assign color number 1 to C. C is not adjacent to A. Okay, next up. If I am assigning color number 2 to B in the sense, B and F is not adjacent. So, same color you can assign to F also. Also, E is not adjacent. Same color you can assign to E also. Can you assign the same color number 2 to D? No, that is not possible because D is adjacent to F and E. Can I assign color number 1 to D? That is not possible because color number 1 is already assigned to its adjacent vertices A and C. Okay, so for D, color number 1 we cannot able to assign. Similarly, color number 2 we cannot able to assign. So, you have to assign a different color, color number 3. So, the chromatic number for this given graph is 3. Minimum number of colors required to color this given graph is 3. Okay. And the possible solutions are A and C with red, E, F with green, D with blue. And A, C with red, E, B, F with blue and D with green. Next possibility is A, C with green, E, F, B with red, D with blue. Next possibility is A, C, green, E, F, B is blue and D with red. Next possibility is A, C with blue, E, F, B with red and D with green. Next possibility is A, C with blue, E, F, B with green, D with red. Okay. So, these are all the possible solutions. And one more possibility is also there. If you are assigning color number 2 to B in the sense, B and D. If you are considering, that is not adjacent. So, color number 2, you can able to assign to B and D. And color number 3, you can able to assign to E and F. That is also possible. So, with this concept, if you are assigning in the sense, you will get few more solutions. Okay. So, likewise, we need to identify the different possible solutions by constructing the state space tree. So, with this, we have discussed the complete concept of backtracking. That is, n problem using backtracking, subset sum problem using backtracking, Hamiltonian circuit using backtracking and graph coloring problem using backtracking. So, four different problems we have discussed under backtracking technique. In the next session, we will move on to branch and bound technique. Thank you for watching this video.